Hey, Tommy from The Run Testers with another first run review. In this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the North Face Summit Vective Sky Trail Running Shoe. Now, this shoe was sent to me by Sports Shoes in order for me to do this review. I'm not paid to say anything about this shoe, so I can say whatever I want, but big thanks to Sports Shoes for sorting this out so I could actually do the review. Right, let's dive in. The North Face Summit Vective Sky costs £180 or $199, weighs in at 272 grams or 9.6 ounces. The drop is 4 millimeters and the lugs are 3.5 millimeters. The Vective Sky is a carbon plate trail shoe that's designed to offer a lightweight ride, a balanced level of cushioning and a good amount of stability. The midsole foam incorporates a 4mm P-back insert at the forefoot to improve rebound and there's a rocker that incorporates a fork design in the heel and forefoot to offer support on technical terrain. The upper is built to be light and breathable and has a sock style design for a lockdown fit and the outsole is covered with a surface control rubber for grip and includes 3.5mm lugs. Okay, so before I start this review, I'd probably say that I've just got back from a 15K run in the shoe and they got very, very muddy. So I've just had to wash them and I'm not gonna hold them up here because they're very wet. So um, the fit for me in the Vective Sky is true to size. I definitely wouldn't size up or down in it, but it's worth noting that it has a sock-like upper, which is quite hard to get on initially. So um, they do feel a little bit like they're hard to get on when you first get them. When I'm actually wearing the shoe, they feel fine. No shoes at all, no rubbing over the course of that first run um, but when you first try to get them on they can be a little bit tricky to get on the feet so that first run for me was really successful actually i really enjoyed running in the shoe uh, it's a lower stack than the vective pro i haven't tested the vective pro but the my friend who i was running with today was running in those and i compared the size of them and it is a noticeable difference in that midsole stack so the sky is designed to be bit more of a natural feeling shoe. There's less um, cushioning in it. It does have a plate in it. I didn't really notice that. I actually didn't realize it had a plate in it till afterwards when I, I, I read up on the shoe. Um, so it's a very subtle plate in it. Um, and it just feels like quite a normal trail shoe really, quite a normal lightweight feeling trail shoe. It's not particularly lightweight when you actually weigh the shoe, um, but it does feel like not quite lean on the feet. Uh, so when you're running uh, out on the trails, it does feel like it's quite nippy. Um, you can run quite fast in it and it definitely doesn't feel like there's a big chunk of shoe on your feet, which you can feel like with some trail shoes that are quite heavy. So over the course of that run, uh, I found that it did very well on uh, harder compact surfaces. On the road, it felt great. The lugs are relatively small. They're 3.5 millimeters, so they're not really aggressive they're not really designed for going through really thick mud uh, and i found that out quite quite quickly when i was running through mud uh, downhill and i was slipping about quite a bit so it's not really a shoe designed for the british countryside in the winter um, but over the harder compact surfaces over the fields that were a little bit harder it was absolutely fine had no issues at all felt very fast nippy and enjoyed running it quite a bit. That plate, as I said, isn't that noticeable. So I didn't really feel any noticeable toe off or any sort of um, propulsive feel to the shoe. It just felt like a fast shoe, which is pretty much all it really needs to do. Although to be honest, I would say that there are other trail shoes out there which also feel light and nippy to me and they don't have a carbon plate in. Um, so I didn't really get any benefits from that carbon plate when I was out running in it. There's also meant to be a rocker design in the shoe. I didn't really notice that either. The midsole foam does feel quite rigid. It's definitely not a flexible, natural feeling shoe, but it's also not really noticeable as having a really aggressive rocker in it either. So I didn't really notice the rocker either, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but again, there's certain features in the shoe which I, I didn't really spot when I was out on that first run. I found the upper to be very comfortable. It's a sock-like design, so it sort of wraps around the, the, foot, the foot. There's a lot of space in the forefoot as well, so it's quite comfortable. I didn't have any rubbing or anything like that. Even when I was hitting some quite big declines, I had no issues at all with that, so it felt very comfortable from that point of view. And I also felt that when I was running uphill, that it, it was quite a nice shoe for running uphill. I felt like I could maintain a nice pace with it. The shoe didn't feel like it was holding me back when I was trying to push myself up those hills. So it does feel like a very 
uh, fast shoe to, to wear out over the trails. Uh, and I think the carbon plate that sits within it, along with that midsole foam, does feel like it's protecting your feet as well because I definitely felt like on some of the harder rocky areas, I didn't really have any issues with the pointy rocks or anything like that. So there's a, it's quite a nice firm build to the midsole. It does feel like it protects your feet. Other than that, I didn't really get a lot more from that shoe. I think it's a solid trail shoe. I think it feels like it would be good for a variety of distances. Definitely felt like it had enough cushioning to go long in over the trails. And I'd be more than happy to do longer distances in it. So my verdict on the North Face Summit Series Vective Sky is that it's a solid, enjoyable trail shoe. Uh, over that first run, I, just, I found it was um, just really felt quick nice to run in and I didn't have any issues at all in it. So uh, it feels like it can handle a lot of terrains, not mud, the, lug, the lugs are just not, they're not aggressive enough to deal with um, thick mud. So definitely not designed for that. Probably more for those more uh, summer, spring trail runs, probably not in the UK in the winter. Um, but other than that, I think it's a, it's a good trail shoe uh, and I definitely will use it for some other runs coming up. The one thing I would say about it is that the price is quite high. I think when you have a lot of features in a shoe like carbon plates and stuff like that in a trail shoe, it, you really need to feel the benefits of those for the price that you're paying for the shoe. It is cheaper than the Vective Pro, which has a lot more stack in it and is designed to be a little bit bouncier out on the trails when you're running faster. But I would say that there are a lot of other trail shoes out there that I've tested which don't have some of this carbon plate technology in that this shoe has and they come in significantly cheaper. Things like the Saucony Peregrine range, that's a very similar shoe to what you're getting from this. I'd also say that the Asics Fuji Light 3 is probably a superior shoe for me. It doesn't have any sort of plate in it. It's actually quite a flexible, natural feeling shoe. But I also feel that that shoe is very light to run in. It just feels you can really pick up the pace nicely in it and it just delivers like a road shoe, a lighter road shoe in that sense and you can really bound along in it. The only difference in, in those two shoes is that I would say that the Fuji Light 3 doesn't have the protective qualities of the midsole and that carbon plate that you get from this shoe. So if that's if you're running on really hard, compact, rocky ground, then that you may be wanting the, the benefits of this shoe. But if you're really running it over more general terrain and you just want a lightweight feeling shoe, then probably you might go for the A6 Fuji Light 3 or the Saucony Peregrine range because that shoe is just a really good all-rounder and you can run a variety of distances in it across quite a lot of terrain. So that's my first look at the Vective Sky. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that little bell and check the channel out for all the other videos we've got. And also, if you want to listen to us talking on your runs, then you can go into the caption below and find a link to our podcast, which comes out at the end of each month. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you later.